दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट वन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफरेंशियबिलिटी द क्वेश्चन इज इज द फंक्शन डिफाइंड बाय एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस फाइव इफ एक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन एंड एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस फाइव इफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन अ कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन ओके सो वी हैव टू टेल इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू solve and tell in this question that fx is a continuous function or not now to solve this question first of all we take the first case when x is less than 1 okay and as a matter of fact we are going to consider the continuity of the function in three ways first is when x is less than 1 second when x is greater than 1 and third is when x is equal to 1 okay so in the first case when x is equal uh, when x is less than 1 We assume that C be any real number less than one, and if we take the limit of x tends to C for f x, then this would be equal to limit of x tends to C for x plus five, and this would be equal to C plus five. Okay, and you can see when <coughs> x is less than one, f x is equal to x plus five. That is why we have taken the value of f x as x plus five, and uh, therefore the limit of f x when x tends to C is equal to C plus five. And f of c is equal to c plus five, so this means that limit of x tends to c for f x is equal to f of c for all the values of c when c can take any value less than one. So this means that f x uh, this means that f is continuous for all x less than zero. In the second case, when x is equal to one, so x is equal to one represents a point, and to check the continuity of the function at a particular point. we have to take the left hand limit and uh, uh, right hand limit of the function at that given point and we have taken x is equal to 1 as a case because the function changes its value at this point okay so first of all we are going to calculate the right hand limit of the function when x tends to 1 okay that is limit of x tends to 1 positive of fx and this would be equal to limit of x tends to 0 of f of 1 plus h And this would be equal to limit of x tends to zero of one plus h minus five, and you can see one plus h represents a value greater than one. So the function takes the value x minus five, and that is why we have f of one plus h as equal to one plus h minus five. And on applying the limits, this would be equal to one plus zero minus five, or equal to minus four. And limit of x tends to one negative of f x would be equal to limit of x tends to zero of f of one minus h. And this would be equal to limit of h tends to zero of one minus h plus five. One minus h is a value in less than one, so the function is going to take the value x plus five, and that is why we have limit of f of one minus h as equal to limit of h tends to zero of one minus h plus five. And on applying the limit, this would be equal to one minus zero plus five or six. So clearly, left hand limit and right hand limit are unequal. Therefore, the function is discontinuous at x is equal to one. In the third case, we take x is greater than one, and we assume that c be any real number greater than one. The limit of x tends to c for f x would be equal to limit of x tends to c for x minus five, where x minus five is taken as equal to f x because For x greater than one, f x takes the value equal to x minus five, and on applying the limits, we are going to get its value as equal to c minus five, and f of c would be equal to again c minus five. So this means that limit of x tends to c for f x is equal to f of c. Therefore, f is f uh, f is continuous for all x greater than one. Okay, so we have seen that it is only discontinuous at x is equal to one. So f has only one point of discontinuity, that is x is equal to one, and we can say that f is not a continuous function now f is uh, uh, first of all we can see here that f is defined for all real numbers okay there is not a single real number for which this function is not defined but but the function is not continuous at x is equal to 1 so there is a point in a domain for this function where the function is discontinuous so if we have a single point in the domain of the function where it is discontinuous then the function would be said 
to be a discontinuous function so my answer would be that this function is not a continuous function which is the required answer friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you